So in this video, we're going to compare the mirroring in both Blender and FreeCAD. Let's start off with FreeCAD. Now, depending on what workbench you're using or what workflow, we will do the mirroring differently. In this case, for a part design workflow, so in the part design workbench, we create a body and then create a sketch and decide which plane it's going to go on. I'm going to pick the XY plane. So if I was in this sketch, and let's say I wanted to sketch only half the object, then let's say we used an arc. I'm going to create an arc from the center point and we'll bring this out this way. So create a single arc in here. Just going to right click and cancel. If I wanted to mirror this inside the sketcher, then I'll click on the arc and then click on the center axis that I want to mirror over. So that's my last selection. And then I'll use the symmetry. So I created a symmetry of this arc. Now, one thing to remember, because I've created the symmetry of the arc, these two points won't be coincident. So at the moment, this is open geometry. If I wanted them to be coincident, then I need to take those points, highlight them, and add the coincident constraint on them. And the same for this point down here. Highlight and add the coincident constraint on those. Now our arc is constrained and we have that arc in there. So when I close, I can take that arc and use an extrude or a pad against there. Let's cancel that and go back to the sketch and delete one side of the arc and show you another way of creating a mirror. So now I'm going to close this geometry. So I've got the arc, it's open geometry. I will now close the geometry with a line that's coincident to these two points. Hit close. I can now take that sketch. I can pad it with the pad and hit OK. Select the pad and then we'll create a mirror with that. And that's this icon here, the mirrored or part design, fire pattern and mirrored. You can ask me what plane I want to mirror over and we can choose the plane from here. So I've got vertical sketch axis, horizontal sketch axis, base XY, base YZ, etc. Notice that when I mirrored, it was over the center point. So if I go view, toggle axis cross, we can see the axis cross in the center there. So we've mirrored over that. Let's have a look at Blender. So in Blender, we'll create a new project and we get the default cube. So if I wanted to make a mirror of this, I would use a modifier. Let's first move the cube. So I'm going to use the move tool, click on the cube and move it to the left. Now to add the modifier, let's get the pointer back and click on the cube. Click on the wrench or the spanner icon and add modifier. And we're going to go to mirror. It's going to ask us what axis it's going to mirror over. So at the moment, you can see nothing's happening. And this is because of the origin of the object. You can see this little dot in the middle, this little point. This is the origin of the object. So this is mirroring over that origin. So it's going to be on top of that. I can right click and set origin. So you see set origin there. And we have our 3D cursor at the moment in the center. So you can see this dotted white and red circle is the 3D cursor. So if I right click and set origin to the origin to the 3D cursor, so you can see that point has moved. So it's moved from the center and the point is now in the center of these axes. So the point was here before. Now, if I choose like the X or the Y, you can see what's happening. This is the Y axis. Choose the X, it's still going to be on top of here. So that's move the 3D cursor by coming up to the left-hand side, click on cursor, and we'll move it to here. And what we'll do is right-click, because we've still got the cube selected, and set the origin to 3D cursor. So we've moved that across now and you can see what's happened. That's used the move tool 
and make some separation, some more separation with this cube. So let's move it this way. Right click, set origin, 3D cursor. So it's here and you can see we've got the separation between those. And we've got two cubes. So this is working in a different way altogether. 3D cursor again, let's set it to about here. So back to the center, right click, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Right click, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. And you can see what's happening now. So we've got X, Y, and the Z is down here somewhere. So let's click Z so you can see that that's now created copies of this. So anything that's modeled on one side will be reflected on the other side. So let's set this back, right click, set origin, origin to 3D cursor, and we've got those there. So if I come into the edit mode, and you can see, well, if we zoom in, we've got the cube in here, and you can see it there. So let's move that and move that vertex, and you can see what's happening. As we move the vertex out, it's being reflected on the other side. Back in FreeCAD, we've got the same kind of thing. If I take that mirror and look at the pad, look at the sketch, well, if I modify this and say, add, let's add a circle in here. I have to keep everything to the left of where it's being mirrored. And we'll use the trim tool to trim out the right-hand side of this and the internal. So we've got that close and you can see what's happened. In the part design, we can't actually take that sketch and move it away from here because it creates a multi-body object. So that's delete it from these constraints here. So these two, just select those two. And you see those selected in green, let's delete those. And what I should be able to do is move this off of this line now. Let's move this out this way and this one out this way. If I hit close, and we can see we've got the pad there and the mirror has not taken. So you can see the mirror is there, but it hasn't taken properly. Let's delete that mirror, click on the pad, create the mirror, and you can see we've got an error. They're saying one transform shape does not intersect support. So the support is running this way. You can do this in a part workflow. The part design requires a single body, not to be confused with adding another body in here and creating a separate body in here, but it's a single body inside one of these body containers. If I took that sketch, that's delete the pad and take the sketch and put it outside of the body. So it's dropped outside. I can delete the body now. And what I'll do is go over to the part workbench. You can see where it's away from the origin. I click on that sketch and extruded it. And let's hit OK for that. And click on the extrude and then use the mirror. So I'm mirroring the extrude. I want to mirror over a plane. So this is always over a plane. So I'm looking at my control down on the right hand side. So I want to mirror over the Y, Z plane. So it's going to mirror over this plane here. So we'll go for the Y, Z and hit OK. Then we successfully mirrored that and created a multi-body object because the part workbench allows for that. If I double click that extrude, I can affect the angle and the placement of the mirror as well. So I can alter where this is going to go. So that's bring it around this way and push it out to around here. So you can see how I'm affecting that. And we just click off and hit escape on the keyboard to allow that take effect. So that's how to mirror in both Blender and FreeCAD. As you can see, there are some differences there. In Blender, I've done via modifier. In FreeCAD, depending on what workbench, it's either done by symmetry in the sketch, a mirrored in the part design, or a mirror in the part.
depending on what workflow you're going to use. I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope to see you again in the new one. If you're enjoying these videos and you would like to support the channel, then you can do so via my Ko-Fi page. That's at ko-fi.com forward slash mj3d studio. Any donations will be used to help to span the channel. I'd like to thank you all for watching and I hope to see you again soon.